Greetings, royal family. I want to know what type of THC is in this weed that Shawnee is growing because it seems that like common sense has escaped if it was ever even there, these ladies. All right, greetings, royal family, all that good stuff. This is Basketball Wives. Let's get straight into it. So this episode opens up, right, with the ladies on a bus um, and they're going to visit Shawnee's dispensary. So while they're on the bus, it's Kristen, Malaysia, Evelyn, and Shawnee. They are talking about Jen's um, sip and shop, the event that she had honoring her mother. The proceeds were going to be going towards cancer research where Jackie was basically calling uh, for OG to come outside. She was offering her out to the streets. So there was a, there was photographers there, right? Press was there. The ladies took pictures. Evelyn, Jennifer, and Malaysia took pictures. You know, uh, Malaysia even pointed out that it's interesting because them three don't get along. The two of them don't get along with Jen, right? So when the photographer was asking for, for them to pose with pictures, they posed with pictures, Right? Y'all saw that episode. So now, on this episode, they are talking about how they don't like the fact that Jen gave these photos to the press. Follow me here. And proceeded to crop out Jen out of the photograph. And Malaysia posted it on Instagram. Okay, let's pause. Jen leaked these pictures to the press uh malaysia ding dong you know the press was there you agreed to take pictures listen i don't care how well known i become or and you can you can you can mark my words by this if i don't want to do something like if i don't want to take a picture with someone that i deem as an enemy or someone that i just don't like it ain't happening. I don't care who's watching. I don't care what the photographer says. You weren't obligated, right? So you going to an event like this, you're going to get attention. There's press that's going to be there. Like why the fact that you were even shocked that press was there doesn't make any sense to me. Like what's up with y'all? Like seriously, like you can't be this simple. You can't be, I refuse to believe it. So they're laughing. And of course they're giggling because they have to make the butt uh, they have to make someone the butt of the joke, right? So, you know, Evelyn is laughing and, and, and Malaysia is laughing. So now all of a sudden they hate Jen. Mind you, they showed up for the event to show support and are upset about a picture that they agreed to participate in. I, it, if you can put in, the, if you can get that in the comments and make it make sense to me, I will, I will, I will hear you out. Moving along, they get into the dispensary, huge, huge, huge space. Very beautiful, um, uh, you know, building for them to be doing what it's showing, doing whatever it is that they're doing. So the ladies are all, you know, excited or, or what have you. And, um, Shawnee states that she's, uh, taking on some new real estate ventures in, what did she say? Spain or Costa Rica. So she, um, invited the ladies, yada, yada. So he, here's another funny moment. Shawnee is inviting you ladies out of the country right? Evelyn and Malaysia decide to say they don't want Jen to go. You, you know, this really kills me because you are being offered a free trip. I'm assuming, let's just for the sake of the argument, the trip is free. You don't get to dictate who goes and who doesn't go. If, if, even if Shawnee did invite Jen, you could make a big stink about the fact that you didn't want Jen to be there, but then you have the option to not go, just like the sipping shop, right? Tell me if y'all following me, royal family. They also didn't want OG to go, but um, Shawnee's logic is she is going to invite Jackie. No, they didn't want, yeah, they didn't want Jackie to go. I think that's what it is. They didn't want Jen to go either. They weren't excited about OG going. Anyway, Shawnee decides to invite Jackie, but she says that, you know, OG is going to be her comfort or a friend because she hasn't been getting along with everyone lately. So that's her reasoning behind inviting OG. And I'll get into that later on. That's pathetic. But yeah, Evelyn and Malaysia, now they're like best buddies and they're teaming up and they don't want Jen around and this, that, and the third and 
They don't want OG around, you know, and I thought that was real interesting that they get to dictate who goes on the trip when they're not paying for it. Just for the sake of the argument, I'm assuming. Anyway, moving along, OG has her uh, retirement uh, celebration. And she looked great. The environment was nice. Um, Jackie and uh, Jen came. And I thought what Jen did in this scene was really sweet. She pulled Jackie aside. She, she uh, gave her this rose gold pin with her mother's name on it, with Jackie's mother's name on it, because Jackie's mom, as well as Jen's mom, passed away from cancer. So, you know, she said, even though, you know, you acted X, Y, and Z at my previous event, you know, I just wanted to give this to you so you can always have something to remember your mom by so she'll always be close to you because again it was a pin i thought that was really nice regardless of what people think about jen or the issues that she's been having with the other ladies when you take time out when you're going through a lot yourself i, I said this before i don't even know what video it was but when you are taking the time out to just show appreciation or show support or do a kind act for someone else when all hell seems to be breaking loose in your own life that speaks volumes whether it was fake phony for the cameras i can appreciate the the gesture i thought that that was very 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 sweet and of course jackie received it very well she told her you know thank you so much you know no one has ever given given me something this special so it was well received i thought i'm glad that they showed that in the midst of all of this chaos that's been going on with these ladies, I thought that that was a sweet moment. Good job, Jen. Good job. So there are not a lot of people at the um, at OG's event. Again, it was just uh, Jackie and um, Jen and a few other people. So OG came out. She looked beautiful in her attire. You know, she said that she wanted to share her culture with the ladies and celebrate. She stated that Tammy... Shawnee and whoever else said and Cece I think called her and let her know uh because Cece is going through her her health issues and she's just making sure that everything's okay so I can understand Shawnee later on said that she was at her, her it was her daughter's birthday so she couldn't make it and Tammy is booked and busy so she couldn't make it so I was a little bit confused OG girl you know um I'm gonna keep it real with you who else did you expect to come to this event? Like you don't fool with Evelyn. And later on, you said that you didn't invite her. Um, Kristen and you aren't good because of the situation with CC and all that other stuff. Um, who else is there? Phoebe, you don't like Phoebe at all. And you know, you guys don't get along or what have you. So I'm, I'm not sure who else she was referring to. And, you know, she did complain that she always tries to support the other ladies. And she was a little bummed out that uh, the other women didn't come. But, I mean, I don't know. I was confused. Unless they cut something out, I missed something. I'm not sure who she was expecting, who else she was expecting to join the celebration. I mean, you're closest with Tammy, but she had her previous engagements. Jackie was there. Jen was there. So, I don't know. I was a little confused by that as well. Um, what happened next? Jackie and her podcast. So she had Jason Lee on her podcast and she was interviewing him. After that wrapped, then in comes Shawnee. And Shawnee was just like, hey, you know, how's everything going? And I'm um, sorry I couldn't get uh, make it to your podcast round table because Jackie had a little round table, little thing with a certain ladies. And she was upset that Shawnee didn't come and Evelyn didn't come and a couple of other people didn't come. So Shawnee apologized for that. And um, she asked how OG's uh, engagement went, which is like, you could have all called OG yourself and find out how it went. Mm, shady. And, you know, Jackie told her uh, she was a little bit bummed out because the ladies didn't come. She said that it was her daughter's birthday, yada, yada. Now, Shawnee tells Jackie that she is inviting the ladies to Costa Rica and she is not inviting, um, she's not inviting Jennifer. So, of course, Jackie feels a little bit like, oh, sad for Jennifer about this because she's built she's built a, a relationship with her. I mean, they've, they've been cool, you know. And Jackie said, I didn't know that there was, you know, an issue. And she said, you know, she doesn't have an issue personally, but she just thinks that it's best, whatever, whatever BS excuse Shawnee gave. 
So we're fast forwarding. We see OG and her man. They're talking about buying a house together. And he's just basically telling her really, really soon we can uh, get engaged and have kids, yada, yada. Now, you know, at her party, I thought that he was going to actually propose to her the way he was talking to her, but whatever. You can't force somebody to do something that they're not ready to do. And as long as OG is happy with the pace that her relationship is moving, more power to you. That's her business. People can say, well, he should do this. He's stringing her along. I mean, I, I think that OG is a headstrong gal. And when people get tired, they get tired. So obviously she's not tired. She's in a good place uh, as far as her career is concerned, her relationship. So kudos to you, OG. You know, I hope that if this does work out, I wish you nothing but the best. You and Kwame. Moving along, Cece is nervous because she has to um, have a biopsy done and she's afraid that it might be cancer. And Byron and her were having uh, dinner and he was explaining to her that, you know, his mom passed away from cancer. She was a woman that did not like to go to the doctor. And by the time she went to the doctor, it was too late. You know, I can see why Byron is a little bit protective over Cece because he loves her. He cares for her, obviously. He just doesn't want her entangled in the nonsense that the ladies tend to create, you know? And Kristen said something, I think it was on the bus where she said, you know, CC is probably the reason why Byron didn't show up to dinner. No, no, CC, no, you're the reason why Byron didn't show up to dinner. In my opinion, I think it's more important for Byron to, uh, you know, mend the relationship between him and Thomas, as opposed to you and your childish rants and foolishness, you know? You did wait about a year before you thought it was a good idea to apologize. You know, you made some serious allegations, had us thinking one thing, and when Byron told his story, it was completely different. So, no, no, Kristen, the reason why Byron didn't show up to your dinner is because of you, not anyone, not Cece, not anyone else. It's because of you. So moving along, there is this wine tasting uh, situation going on. So... All of the ladies are there. I don't know if Phoebe was there. You know, I don't, I don't really, I have a tendency to, oh no, sorry, let me back it up. The Central Park Pigeon and her owner, Evelyn, they were shopping. So they start talking about, of course, they, they make jokes about OG. They make jokes about um, Jackie and all of this other crap. And it was corny, you know. And Phoebe goes to tell Evelyn that, she saw on social media that OG was communicating with Chad or, or whatever because Chad reposted some video uh, when OG was playing football or, or something. To which Evelyn goes on to call OG thirsty. Phoebe says in her confessional, what are you doing, girl? That's Evelyn's ex-husband. Wait, wait. I told you, common sense was, lack of common sense was the recurring theme in this show. What do you, what do you, what do you mean that's Evelyn's ex-husband? Was she trying to get with him? And even if she was trying to get with him, are OG and Evelyn like sister girls and are they friends? Are they tight? Are they close? No. Right. Evelyn has made it very clear that she doesn't like OG for whatever reason. And Phoebe, girl, you, I guess you have to get as much camera time as possible. And then Evelyn calling OG thirsty, sweetie, Sweetie, this is the same man that you stated uh, was very physically and verbally abusive to you, right? And there is no, uh, I'm not condoning that. Like there's no reason for him to be physically and verbally abusive to you if indeed this is true, right? I'm just saying that because obviously I don't know. We can only speculate from what we hear, but I don't know. Why would you even care what that man is doing? If like make it make sense royal family. Like I hear people say you love who you love and 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 situations happen and you still have love for someone. Right, right, right. I get all of that. But someone that could have possibly cost you your life. Someone who assaulted you, someone who violated you the way that you have explained to the world. I wouldn't give a good darn, okay? I wouldn't give a good darn what that individual is doing. 
You understand what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, this, none of this makes sense. And I'm not trying to be insensitive to what it is that Evelyn went through, but why would you make that about her being thirsty for him? Like, even if she was thirsty for him or for his attention or whatever, you know, narrative you're trying to spin, why would that bother you considering you got out of a dangerous situation alive? You see what I'm saying? Like people be so constant, like they, they concentrate on being so malicious that they don't even make sense. Now on to the wine tasting party, right? Cause now I'm, I'm, I'm through. Everybody is there, right? Everyone is there. And before Shawnee, Evelyn and Malaysia, I guess they're the new Rat Pack, right? They, um, uh, what's her name? Jackie tells Jennifer that Shawnee is not going to be inviting her on the trip. Okay. Shawnee gets mad about that. Again, doesn't make sense alert. Shawnee says, Jackie, do you feel that that was your place to tell her? I don't understand what, like everybody has crossed the line in this, in this show. Everyone has been out of their place. People carrying news here, carrying news there, telling what was said there, telling what was said here. What doesn't make sense, Shawnee, right? Ding dong head number two. You, wouldn't it make sense, assuming that the scenes were in sequence, right? Wouldn't it make sense that you tell Jen first that you're not inviting her versus telling Jacqueline, Christy? No, because this is the same type of behavior that you guys are crucifying Jackie for. For Jackie not telling Malaysia what she heard, but telling the rest of the ladies in the group. And Jackie is so horrible and so terrible. But Shawnee, you told Jackie, Evelyn, Kristen, uh, you told them first and Malaysia that you're not inviting Jen before you told Jen. So Jen is flabbergasted by this because, you know, she feels that she's gone above and beyond to apologize. Now Evelyn has an issue because Evelyn feels like, oh, you know, you talked about my daughter, you know what I'm saying? And you didn't really admit to what you did and you didn't really apologize. So it's like, wait, wait, wait. I was with Jen on that. Excuse me, what? We've had lunch. We've gone out, Evelyn. Evelyn, it was all good when Jennifer was telling you things or rumors that she heard about Tammy. It was all good then. Or when she was laughing with you about Toji or what have you or OG. None of this makes sense. So, poor Jen. You know, Jen, it was foolish of you to think that you could trust these ladies, especially Evelyn. Like, you know Evelyn better than most of the, well, all. It, maybe Shawnee, I don't know. You know Evelyn the best, I would say, right? So you should already know what she's capable of. So, I mean, I get it. It's a huge blow to the ego, and it doesn't make any sense. And Evelyn, will you please... Stop going around telling everybody that Jen was talking about your daughter. She didn't say nothing about Shanice. She talked about your parenting skills or lack thereof. Like, I am so sick of this Evelyn being a victim all the time. Like, come on, man. You know good and well that that woman said what she said about you, not your daughter. The scene that oh, when OG confronted... um uh, Evelyn was real interesting because Evelyn, why weren't you loud? Why weren't you getting up? Why weren't you throwing any wine? Why weren't you being boisterous and obnoxious when OG was confronting you? We all know why. So, you know, Jen has been your punching bag for years. You'll, you'll throw drinks in her face and jump up and grab bottles and run across tables when it comes to Jen. But I don't, I, don't, I don't think you want any smoke with OG. And I'm glad that OG spoke up for herself. But then again, OG, like I said, you don't really fool with the other girls like that. So the two that weren't busy that you fool with were there. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> none, of, none of this makes sense, y'all. Help me. Seriously, like, help me. And Phoebe, you are as phony. You are so phony. Oh, God. That Central Park Pigeon, she really gets me every time. But listen, I am not a hater when it comes to people getting their money or paying the bills. Do how, do how you do. And this is all a paycheck. So update, though. Um, yeah, and I didn't like something that Shawnee said. Shawnee says that she feels sorry for OG. That's why she's going to invite her. And she hasn't gotten a chance to... Um, 
get to know the ladies and you know, OG seems nice, but she'll be talking to you and then 30 minutes later, she'll threaten to kill you. You see, that narrative that you're spinning, that she's an angry black woman, Shawnee, is trash. And for you spewing that rhetoric, you're trash. And yes, that is insulting her, but uh-uh, let's not do that. Let's not act like OG goes around saying that she's going to snap people's necks and she's going to kill people and she's just an angry black woman. Stop spinning that narrative because that's not the case. You ladies have talked about her physical appearance, how she dresses, you calling to find out if her clothes are authentic. Are you kidding me? You have that much time in the day to do that? You care that much? Talking about how her shoes fit? Knock it off, man. You, you're lucky that that's the only thing that she has said and she has not done what Evelyn has done over and over again and run across the table and go upside one of, one of your heads. Like, Shawnee, you're trash for that, for spewing that rhetoric. That is garbage. Update, they're filming the reunion and it's being said that OG has to film in a separate room because the ladies are intimidated. Bull crap. It's also, um, Evelyn also posted something on, on Instagram or Twitter. She deleted it. And it, it's something along the lines of, when they watch you or you know they care when they watch you so hard and at the bottom uh, there was a picture of a monkey. So everyone was outraged, you know, OG retweeted it and was advising everyone to boycott this colorist, racist blank. And yeah, that is extremely derogatory. And in these racial climates, like this sensitive climate that we're in, you thought it was a good idea, Evelyn, to post that? I mean, I don't think that that's people being sensitive. I think it's disgusting, and I don't like that whole narrative of the angry black woman. Like, you guys have really teased OG, and what you don't like is that she can stick up for herself. That's what you don't like, because you're, you're accustomed to Jen retreating and backing down. You understand what I'm trying to say? And OG, listen, OG wants all the smoke. So it'll be, I'll be curious to see um, the reunion. I've really been waiting for the reunion. I think next week, finally, we see the situation with the Bushes and, and, and Evelyn. But then again, who knows? I don't know. Uh, Royal family, get down in the comments. Let me know if you heard, if you heard about this um, Instagram post that Evelyn put out. What do you think about it? Um, also, what do you think about OG confronting, you know, Evelyn? Do you deem OG as an angry black woman? What do you think about Shawnee kind of spinning this narrative as if OG is the aggressor in every situation amongst the ladies? Get down in the comments. I will meet you down there, royal family. This was Basketball Wives. So until next time, peace. Love you for watching.